Hey guys. How's everyone doing today? Rancid? Rogue, welcome on in. Good to see you. Gonna play some more Mana Lords. I've been sucked into this game. So, uh, we played on the weekend. Uh, when was it? Was it Saturday or? Sounds like a laptop mic. Oh, is it? Is the mic not going through good? Let me double check something here. Let's see. Is something something changed? Got the empty room back going on. Well, I am in an empty room. Well, not quite empty, empty, but. Let's see if we can fix it. Hey, Rogue. Oh, come on in. Uh, let's see. We're about to make any difference. Throw another filter. Uh, where did we leave off with this game? Yes, so on the weekend we did a stream. And we had made it, I think, to the fourth year. Uh, we had made it through our first battle. And um, I, I kind of want to do a new one, though. I want to start a new one because I've been, been putting in some time. And uh, I think I, I have a little bit better feel of what's going on. So I think I could do a better, a better village from uh, the get-go. But we had made it about four years. Um, this time around, I'll probably spend more time fast forwarding um, or speeding up time, keep things moving along until we can get back to that point. So yeah, let's, let's go ahead. We're gonna keep our same code of arm. So, uh, Rogue's been watching streams of this game all week. Uh, looking forward to playing. Oh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, there was actually a good post from the dev uh, today. That I saw on Steam. Just an update for those who are have been uh, waiting uh, for the game to come out. So definitely give that a read if you haven't. Uh, answers a lot of questions about you know, what to expect from the game. Yeah, very good, very transparent. Yeah, I, it was actually um, I was very very impressed with the post. I wish more more devs would be up front like that. Okay, so we went uh, with this old, old knightly man last time. Uh, let's go for this. Uh, let's go for this. He looks more like a baron. And uh, this is the uh, the coat of arms we created last time. I, I like that. We're gonna keep that. It's got the. Uh, I'm not sure if this is supposed to be like a lion or a bear. We've got the animal up top, the ferocious animal up top. We got the sword. The Holy Hand Grenade, and then the Iron Cross. Alright, so we're going on restoring the peace again. Two territories in the north are claimed by the illegitimate Baron, whose castle is located off the map. Banna camps reside in the other unclaimed regions. Uh, we need to conquer every region to win. And the only thing I really want to change here for settings... If the music is too loud, let me know. It's a lion. It's on a bear. It's a lion. Uh, the only thing I want to change, as Arturus says hello, is the armament delivery. I don't want that. I want to make our own weapons and armor. I don't want to be gifted anything. That's the only thing we're going to change. I think. Yeah. Music could be turned down a tiny bit. Okay. I wasn't sure if it was a little quiet last time, so I turned it up a couple notches, so I'll dial it back one. Welcome to our camp. Let's fix the audio first. I think I had it at 50% last time. Let's go to 55 
Build up your tan, your banner, and when ready, press claims towards regions owned by your opponents. Once a claim is impressed, be ready for battle. All right. So, take a look and see where we end up this time. As far as I could tell, the map is the same. Either regions are all the same each time. And uh, on the, the start screen, when you're setting up the game, it does indicate that it's like a early access map. So, so it's, maybe that means it's another map uh, or other maps being worked on as well. We're off in the corner in Emin Roof. And then the opponent Baron is up in Selvitz and Hofstetten, which I think is the actual. This actually might be the same setup we had last time around, too. So we have a rich deposit of clay and a rich deposit of animals. 166 iron, 200 stone, which for a non-rich deposit is all right. Next door to us, we have a rich deposit of stone, 940. This one only has 100, 120, 160. Yeah, so we're, we're actually uh, on the higher end of a non-rich deposit. 1,000, or 200 up there, 620. Uh, rich deposit of iron next door, rich deposit of iron there. Actually, we were surrounded by rich deposits of iron. So I think... I would like to, if we're able to today, use some conquest, which I'm hoping we are. I think we'll try and push for. Who died, my G fucking king of the zombies? Uh, Noose, Noose Low. Counter Flats Beep, I'll come on in. Appreciate the follow. You and your gang of angry zombies. One of us, one of us, one of us. Oh yeah, disregard the uh, integration commands. I'll try and turn those off. We're left away from, from Zomboid. And water lines are scattered around. Not too bad, a little sparse down here. And where was our town again? Right there. Our camp, right down there. Utility. Not super great, but there are a few regions where we could grow wheat. Not much for flax, not much for barley, and a little bit for rye. I should take a look at this county in here and see what it's got. A little bit more for wheat. Not much for flax, not much for barley. Is anywhere good for growing? Flax? Oh yeah, these these regions up here. I have not been able to grow flax yet. Okay. And with barley. Okay, so barley and flax seem to be somewhat connected. And then emmer and rye. Somewhat connected. There. There's zones. Okay, cool. How do the water lines work? Can you only put wells there? Uh, yeah, so you you need to put a well over top of a water line. There's actually a, a sandbox setting to allow that or not. So we do have that enabled. And then I was told in the last stream that uh, water lines underneath wheat fields negatively impact the yield of the wheat crop. So if we look, like our potential grow zones for wheat would be down here. Actually, this forest here, if we cleared that out, we could potentially grow some wheat there. And down here, so versus our water lines, that's got water running through it. This actually looks like it has water running all through the forest there. So this spot down here might actually be the best place for wheat. There's no water line there. Hey, Kevin. Welcome back. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Although, I've done a few wheat farms in 
I've, I've gone through a few different um, scenarios, playthroughs, and I haven't actually had a good wheat harvest yet, so maybe maybe this time we will. Uh, now, as far as setting up, we want to set up here and then expand out. We got stone and iron on opposite sides. Be a little while before we make our way to iron. Oh, well, far, far. Everything's pretty spread out. Hey, Lord, Carbon. Just deciding where we're gonna set up our our village. Fastest way would just be to set it up right in here. Less distance to carry supplies. Maybe we'll do that. For the sake of expediency. So we want our logging camp. I mean, there's no shortage of forests. Since there's water lines in that forest, um, I think we could just leave that for the animals and the berries. We'll want to eventually expand out this way, so I think we'll put our logging camp on this side. Let's plop that here. And then these hunting camps actually don't cost any materials. We'll throw hunting camp. I mean, the animals are way out there. So let's put our hunting camp there for now. And we've got six timber left. We'll need storehouse and a granary. That's four logs total. So our supplies are right here. Let's just dump our stuff over here, maybe. Let's connect that up the road. Let's put our warehouse. And I guess. Two timber left. Is that enough to build a burgage? It's two. Okay. We do one of these, or do we do? We could also spend one timber just to upgrade our worker camp. Provides crew living space for five families, which is what we have right now. Let's do that. Upgrade that. And one timber left. Uh, we'll need a woodcutter lodge. We'll need firewood. Let's plop that over by the body. Let's extend this road over. There. Camp right across the street. Lord, appreciate the uh, resub. 11 months in a row. Ooh, so close to that one year. So close to the birthday. Appreciate that, man. All right. We've spent all of our timber. Let's get building. Bustle, bustle. I want to get the manor up as soon as we can. Uh, in order to do that, we're going to need to get to a small village size, which will take uh, burgage plots. We need five burgage plots to get to a small village. We're also going to need some planks, so we're going to need a saw pit. Uh, seems like forever, forever since I've caught a stream. Uh, how are you? I'm doing good, man. Doing good. Life is good. We're uh, we moved back into our our original apartment after the the flooding we had uh, late last year. So it's great to be back here. And uh, work's been going well. 
Just got taxes paid, so that's one less thing to worry about for the time being. Now uh, we got a letter here from our opponents. Uh, Hildebolt. Part of your renown, I only seek to defend my rights and honor against those who would wrong me. You will not judge me by the rumors and slanders that some may spread about me. How are things on your side, Lord? You have no rightful claim to Silbitz and Hofstetten. And there's also options for negotiation, declaration, for war, declaring war. Looks like these are just placeholders right now, though. We're gonna throw some rhetoric back at him. How's the boss? How's Arky? Arky is doing good. Um, Slender is currently away on work. She's uh, just started a new job, so she's out of town for the next couple weeks. Doing some training, so Arky's uh, uh, definitely missing her. He's wondering where she is. He's doing pretty good. Alright, logging camp's up. Let's get someone working there. Put cutters up. Get someone working there. We got... Three unassigned families, two families working. Uh, let's put a person in each of the granary and the storehouse for now, just to move supplies over. Got our work ox. We'll try and get as many ox as we can. We'll speed up. Construction efforts down the road. Okay, let's get one person working here. I think all our supplies are indoors now. I don't see any left here. I'm going to take those two off. And we've got no timber. Okay, let's put both of you on cutting wood. We'll build up some reserves of timber and start building some uh, burkish plots. In the uh, other playthrough I was doing um, yesterday, I made it to the point where I got to uh, Burgage plot level threes. They look pretty cool. So I, I want to be able to show that to you guys today, too. All right. We got here. Nine. Okay. Let's start plotting these out. Did I play Banished? Oh, yes. This is definitely a Banished field, isn't it? So we want to kind of push that way towards the iron, but we also want to push towards the stone. So maybe our village will end up being a long corridor. Might be kind of interesting. For our first plots, though, let's keep them close in here. Uh, let's move this hitching post to... Uh, maybe it's fine where it is. Alright, burgers plots. Uh, let's see. I want to do this. One here. Just I can encompass the entire camp there. I want to make them big enough that we have the house, the uh, additional house icon in the bottom left there, as well as the workshop. Tried to carve me a new 
Sometimes you gotta play around with the shape to get the right coordinates down. So we could do that. I wonder if I could squeeze another one in there. This eventually we could take down this camp. So let's see what happens here if I go around the camp. Why do I have yeah. to carry this alone? Two. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not right there. Uh, how about on this side? Do that. I think it's going to build right on top of the camp, though. We just go like this. Hmm. I want to see what happens if I do this. How did I have it before? Yeah. House, bonus house, workshop. Oh, let's try that. Nope. Doesn't let me overwrite that. Okay. Are there any bonuses to placement? Like if you had three in a row, it got a growing bonus? That I don't know. Um, I've been trying to do them individually. So I found like if you do a big stretch, you can... You can get a lot of them built faster. Uh, but it's not guaranteed that all of them will have like all three, like the house, the bonus house, and the workshop. Like out of these four, only two have the full set. But yeah, I'm not sure if you do consecutive ones in a row if it has like a, any, any bonuses attached to that. I kind of just gotta play around. So. All laddie. That works. That. Throw a little alleyway down here. That's not quite. Never. Tricky sometimes. Definitely needs to be wide enough to fit that extra house. But it does end up resulting in uh, interesting looking towns. And it's not just like cookie cutter the same. They're nice. It's about 13 timber. Um, what's that? One, two, three, four. That would be our five that we need. Let's start with that. So the improvements are like the little workshops that you can put in the back. Um, you can, depending on your burgage plot level, you'll have different options of what you can put back there. At level one, you can do a vegetable garden, 
goats. Uh, so vegetable garden for vegetables, goats for animal hides, for chicken coop for eggs. And at level two, you can do things like blacksmith, armorer, sower, um, cobbler. I don't think there was anything new at level three. The houses just looked a lot nicer. But since we're not getting an armament, armament delivery, we're going to want to have a blacksmith or two up so that we can uh, start making our own armor and weapons. That will be the plan. Oh, and uh, we actually don't have anyone unassigned for doing this work for us. Uh, so let's... Let's see, let's take... I also found this out yesterday. If you hold down tab and see where everyone's working. I see the game Infection Free Zone. I actually saw it on on the Steam home, uh, front page. Yeah. Um, is that it? Is that game been renamed from something else? It's one of the. Uh, Art assets looks very familiar. One of the, um, the images on the store page. Actually, I briefly poked my head into this page before the stream. To so one more plot. This one here. There we go. Alright, small village. Another zombie defense game was also made by them. Hmm, maybe, uh. That's what I'm thinking of then. The spin off of DLC for one of those 911 simulator games. Okay, interesting. Ever play Adam Zombie Smasher? I have not. I have not played Adam Zombie Smasher. So, having reached Small Village, we can choose something to spend our development point into. Every time we level up our village, we get a development point. This is the development tree. We got farming up at the top. Uh, farming and livestock uh, stock up the top. We've got trade and commerce on the right. Uh, down at the bottom, we've got uh, like weapon, armor related stuff. On the left, we've got a survival, like very force management, trapping. Um, since we are going to be battle minded today. We will want to work towards basic armor making and advanced armor making. Eventually master armor making. But being early on, it might be worthwhile getting one of the food ones. So trapping enables hunters to skillfully lay traps in the forest, which gives passive income of meat. Uh, we do have a rich deposit of animals. Forest management, doubles capacity of all berry deposits, and beekeeping. We didn't actually do any beekeeping last time. Unlocks the apiary. Workers collect honey. Every region can sustain up to two apiaries by default. Now, I'm not sure if honey is a food item. It is. See at the bottom of the list there in food. So maybe for the sake of trying something new, let's do beekeeping, and then that would later unlock uh, advanced beekeeping to collect wax, and we could probably sell the wax. Let's go beekeeping for our first point, 
And then uh, our second point, maybe we'll put into armor. I'd like to see what this AP area is like. So, there we go, under our gathering. Oss is two planks, so we will need a saw pit. We'll drop this over by the uh, logging camp as well. Extend this path out a little bit. And yeah, we can't put it down. It's not on the planks. Okay. Or wait, no. I, uh, yes, I want this here. Sorry, I want. Oh, that's the game where you can uh, you can play on real world maps. I I have seen someone play that. Now that you guys are talking about it, you've been playing in your old hometown. That's pretty cool. You want to survive in your town, and so how how close is it um, a representation? Is it how how well does it do on interpreting? I assume it's just interpreting like Google Maps data. Hello there. Hey Ricardo. I'll come on in. Okay, we've got our saw pit up. Let's get one person working there. Now we need to get our approval rating up so that more people start moving in. And to do that, we'll want to ensure that people have a market to go shop at. So we'll move our marketplace and... We're going to end up having a few different marketplaces in our town eventually. So we're just going to put this one right by our storage. And you know, let's have it run down the length of this. We should start setting up some stalls there. There we go. We got our first food stall and our first firewood stall. Uh, it's quite accurate. The buildings look different, uh, but they're mostly in the right uh, stop and names. Uh, what it is in real life, like Safeway or 7-Eleven, or the, the spots. Very cool. Oh, we need a dispensary coffer scent. How's it going? Welcome on in. <laughs> we need a, an, an herbal dispensary. Okay, so we have five months of food. We have 59 months of fuel. So we're going to... That's enough fuel for a while. Let's take that guy off. Chopping wood. Right, uh, families are to move in, so we have one new family. Up to six families now. And we got ten planks, that's enough to do our apiary, I think. So let's put our apiary. Uh, will it fit up here? Not quite. Maybe that's a better spot in there for the market. Change this. Uh, let's put our market in this little. As far as I can stand. Small market. Uh, I'm gonna need to put this guy back on so he can set the market again. I was working on a project, Kevin says. What happened to the village we started over the weekend? 
So I, I played a couple more rounds on different um, attempts and feel like I have a better hang or a better handle on the, the game. So I, I thought I'd incorporate what I've learned now into a new new build. See if we can get further than we did on the weekend in a shorter amount of time. It took us about four years to get the matter up. And I think we could do it. We should be able to do it in, in a year in a little bit. Right, food stalls up. Firewood stalls up. Okay. So our next goal is to get to two burgish plots up to level two or higher. And to do that, we need water access, church access, fuel, food, and clothing stall supplies. We can do our well. We don't have a lot of options here. But can it fit there? It can fit there. Let's want it to snap the other way then. Maybe they can't. Let's snap it. No. Oh how what if I turn this off? Yeah, see, see outside of the water line, it won't let me place it. Let's... That right there. And then our church will be the next big project. So we need 10 stone, 20 planks, 5 timber. We've got lots of timber. That'll be the last of our stone. So we're going to need people to start working on... Gathering stone here. So let's get our stone cutter camp up. So you can actually see the um, the elevation lines too. It's kind of cool. So some places will be too steep to build stuff, or at least certain buildings. Like this might be. Some of this might be too steep for your burger plots. All right, so there's our village. Let's drop this right here. Back that. And sometimes I like to put points on and then have a nicer looking road, add more curve or less curve. A meandering road. Rather than just a straight line. So I'm going to put that down to low priority. We do have enough stone to do the church. I just need the extra planks. And I think we have enough planks now. Pass me the hammer, will you? So our church will expose goods. Generic storage, storehouse. This, oh, that's the uh, firewood supplies. The old market location. Let's do our church. We got a big open space there. Um, about here. Uh, Mr. Salmon, welcome on in. Salmon Teriyaki. How do you get the game? So the game will be coming out on the 26th. Uh, some content creators 
have uh, been given some early access, though, ahead of time to people an idea of what to expect. I'm going to put it right here. So we're on that. Oh, and if we have extra planks, which we don't right now, uh, resources stolen, four bred by bandits. And here. Last time they were stealing our berries, now they're stealing our bread. Midway through our first summer, or beginning of our first summer, June through August. Crops grow, possible droughts. Oh, we're going to war today, Kevin. We're beelining as fast as we can to war. You know, try and get the manor up as soon as we can. Then we'll start pushing for a, an army. Our family joined. More workers. More builders. Oh yes, and do we have extra planks now? No, we still don't. Once we have extra planks, I can upgrade our pitching post to a uh, a small stable and then buy another ox. Oh, is someone working? Mm -hmm. yeah. Plenty of timber. Ox damaged by weather. I think that's just that firewood that was left out. That's why we got lots of firewood. We got 23 months worth of firewood. Our current population. Okay, church is done. Now we just need. Oh, yeah, we need that to level up our birch plots. Let's revisit one of these. So we've got water access, we got church. Uh, we just need a clothing stall now. So we should already be gathering hides from our trapper, our hunters. So we've got 16 hides. We'll go over to our industry. And we'll open up a tannery. To turn our hides into leather. And then they can sell the leather in a clothing stall. We're at that up by the hunter. If I have to spend another winter in Albert's barn, I might just freeze you balls off. He's a widow's wife to keep you warm. He said he, if he has to spend another month or another winter in the barn, he's going to freeze his balls off. Oh, we have those planks now too. Okay, let's upgrade our pitching post to a stable. Chopping up the deer. Our new family. Okay, let's get another hunter going. Materials there. 
Chop, chop timber. Oh, are we up? We're up. Okay. That's one more in there. Uh, we have two months of food left, so we're going to need... More food. So let's do... Oh, we didn't actually... Did we end up doing our apiary? We did, did we? No, okay. It's pretty small. Where to put the AP? Maybe just beside the granary. Oh yeah, we cleared out the markets, so we have room to put it here. Maybe not right across the market. We'll get a bunch of bees in the market. That's all right. So it's still, oh, wait, there's the clothing stall. Perfect. And there's the apiary. I want to take this. We didn't get to see this last time. What's this over here? Wash basin? Interesting. I have four people working here. One in there for right now. Here's our stable. Uh, so it is 20 silver to buy another ox. I don't think we need it right now. I think we want food more so. So let's pick our largest Plots with the biggest backyards to do vegetable gardens. Maybe this one. Allows growing vegetables, requires plowing and harvesting labor. Yields depend on the plot size. That's our biggest one. It's 15 silver, so let's do one there. And do this one. That one or this one. Let's do this one. Twenty gold left. So we'll save that for an extra ox. Till we build a. a uh, trading post. Now we just gotta wait for the clothing stall to get replenished. Well, perhaps it was simply a bad batch. Uh, these things do happen from time That's to time. That's six in there. There we go. Upgrade these now. So we just need two of them upgraded for right now. Upgrade those two. Uh, another bandit camp. It's usually about, uh, I think, 18 of these bandits. Each camp. Got one camp up there, and there was one more, wasn't there? Unless the opponent, oh no, right down here. So we might have more food go missing here until we can take care of them.
So every time we upgrade a burgage plot, they take it down and put up a better one. It's one upgrade. One of two. Approval rating is up to 61%, so we'll have some people moving in, hopefully. So we're going to do basic armor. Allows you to make helmets. We go back to our level two burgage plots. We now have the armorer's workshop, or we would have the armorer's workshop available if we unlock that uh, development. Uh, but we also have bakery extension, blacksmith, brewery, tailor's workshop, cobbler, joiner, bowery. Sauron, the Dork Lord, do you mind if I invade your village? Do we have a choice? When a Maiar comes knocking, do we have a choice? Oh, come on in. Uh, okay, so, I think we do unlock that. Okay, so now, our next goal is to build our manor. And we are short on stone. So, was this thing built yet? It has. Or to transform your village into Mordor? So you're saying you're you're gonna provide us with some defenses. The tempting offer. We gotta take some people off work until we get more. But who to take off? I think we need to keep our food people producing. Um Firewood. We got a lot of firewood. Let's take our woodcutter off. So that means his stalls may be abandoned for the time being. Or actually, we have a lot of planks. We could take our plank guy off. One guy working. Sauron has subscribed. <laughs> oh, come on in, Sauron. I don't think we have any construction projects right now, so let's put everyone, this last family on here as well. The stone quickly. Won't take long. Eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. That's all we need, right? Yeah, we only need 15 bucks. Very good. Back on there. Or no, actually, we'll keep you off. We have two families building the manor. Hey, Noob. Uh, would it be worth having a couple extra houses built for new families to move in? Uh, absolutely. We've got lots of timber. I think I'm only going to need two timber for the gate on the manor. So let's pick a spot for the manor. And then we'll start plotting out some more homes. And you know what? Right back in here might actually be good enough. It's up on top of the hill. And that might be the perfect place to put it. 
pop it right there. No fertility there. That's what I'm going to do. Trees there. Pop it right there. We won't worry about the wall right now. We'll just we'll just start with this. Commit that. Build away. We actually might get this done uh, before winter. Sure beats uh, last time where it took us four years. As we stumbled our way through things. Pally oh, moved in. It's a lot of stuff to bring over. Two more timber, though. Oh, hopefully we're gonna have even more fun today, Kevin, as we get to do some more battles. We're gonna fly through the uh, the opening stages and then have more time to spend on building an army and going on conquests. more stone. I'll get from down here. Yeah. There we go. These trees should disappear once it's built. I hope. So close. One more stone. Another new family. Oh no! <laughs> the trees didn't go away. Okay. Let's uh, get our forester over there. Our logger. Here are those out for us. And we'll put down some more homes now. Okay, so we got lots of forest cleared here. Let's start building out that direction. We'll loop this guy around here. Yeah, let's go. Oops. Hold on, let's check the fertility. Alright, so we want to farm down this area. Possibly, yeah. Let's be mindful of that. Wow, 
Might put some homes just in the middle here. Oh, maybe we should leave some room for a tavern. Or you know what? Since the forest has been pushed back, we could probably put a tavern here down the road and, and move this. How big is the tavern? I think it's about the same size. No point fit there. Okay. I'll be the plant for that spot. And if we're going to have a tavern here, maybe we'll put like a, a brewer in the back of one of these homes. That's a huge. Well, we could do like a big vegetable garden back. Here. Never had a vegetable garden that big before. Try that. Bring this to you. Move that there. On and on. Let's try that. Be a big output. Two big gardens back here. Alright, let's start that. And since we have extra people, let's put... Oh, we actually have some back there already. There and we're gonna need more food. Let's do another hunter. And let's get that second ox. We got a few construction projects going on at the same time. All right, so we'll do one of these two. Will be a brewer uh, eventually. So we'll do the tavern there, and then ones on the end. This one here. Let's put a vegetable garden in the back once we get some more wealth. Uh, which means we're going to need trading posts. So let's put that in. Just up here. Across the market. Tiny market. We're going to need something to sell. Uh, not sure what we're going to sell. Maybe we'll do like a cobbler. Well, we're going to need money at first then. Five silver. Well, I guess the easiest thing to sell would be food. Maybe we get a, um, a gathering. Those berries, we can sell berries maybe. Just to get enough to build a cobbler and then we can sell shoes. Ooh. 
this guy right close to the barriers. Right now we got four months of food. It'll get us through winter. Got more people moving in, which is good. Two people employed at a hunting camp. Let's get another person working at the tannery. How much excess? Actually, we don't even have that. We don't even have any excess hides, so maybe one's good enough. We get a surplus of hides, we can hire another person there. We'll want someone working here though. And at the foraging hut. I guess foraging hut first. Stole five tools and stole eight leather. Oh, but it's winter, so I'm not gonna be able to pick anything. Okay. I guess we could sell honey. Person there. I wonder how much this thing could actually produce if we hadn't fully employed. We try that. We got no one living in these three plots yet. Rubles up to 70% then. So for silver, we're going to need 15 for each vegetable garden. So 30. And then 5 for the cobbler. And 5 for the brewer. 40 silver. Uh, work area empty. That means they have cleared out the manor. I have. For the most part, there's some trees left. It looks better. So I'm going to leave that for now. Uh, once we have some extra labor sitting around, then we can start building out walls. You'll not find finer ways anywhere else. Um, well, we could start. Taxing. I'm not sure what the tithe does. Oh, here we go. Percentage of surplus food that is given to the church in return for influence. Oh. Well, I don't really have surplus food right now. So put that at zero. We'll tax them at 10%. 10 I haven't seen these ones unlock. That might be... Maybe that's not possible right now in early access? Or prior to early access? Oh, yes. Uh, so we're going to have to reassign this logging camp. Work area. We're just going to go clear work area. It's an unlimited work area. Go chop where they need to. Uh, we need treasury funds to actually hire the mercenaries, so don't bother. Let's see it. Just two honey. Another person in there. It says we have homeless people, but everyone's got somewhere to live. Also talking about the worker camp. Go 
you're talking about them. Oh, yeah. At least one of them had a little house over there. My family's there. Um, I... Oh, no, we got people living in all these now. Oh, no, sorry. Two Edwards did Start building the expanded living spaces. Uh, Kevin says, Razor and Crest model completed while catching this stream. It's a good day. Uh, is this something you're 3D printing? Actually, upgrade these in this hole too as well. So we're gonna need five more Burgage plots at level two. Oh, very cool, Kevin. So we'll add on the living space and then. Yeah, I'll start upgrading the little too. We have a lot of planks, we can sell some planks. Resources still on four meats. Poor quality, he said. Impossible. Impossible. Alright, let's sell some planks. Gave the old ops a hand for the month old brand. We spent it anything over say seventy. Oh, policies available. I missed our policy. I also haven't seen anything um, outside of these two that we can choose from. Anything else is either work in progress or. He died in my G fucking king of the zombie. Yeah, still locked. See, boss the beast, welcome on. I appreciate the follow. Don't mind the zombies. Leftover from more zomboid streams. Wild animals in rich deposits breed twice as fast at the cost of 50% reduced yields from crops. We do have a rich deposit of animals. Strict fasting. I think we did the fasting last time. 50% reduced yields from crops. I want to get some some farms going. Maybe we'll do the strict fasting again. Can't remember how much it decreased approval by. Out of curiosity, what GPU uh, am I running on this? I've got a 1660 Super. Taxation minus five. We'll see if it pops up about rationing. Only bandit camp. That's three now, I think. Have we watched Fallout? Uh, we have two episodes left. Yeah, we started watching it uh, when it came out, and then she had to go on her work trip, so we have two left to go. Oh yeah, yeah, 37 should be enough. I, I honestly haven't had any issues with um, performance on the like the recommended settings. Um, I did try. What did I try doing? Wait. 
I tried going up to was it the textures? Because wait, I can't see stuff right now. There's one I tried turning. Oh yeah, terrain texture resolution. No, what was it? Oh, shader quality. I think I tried turning up to ultra, and I saw a, a large uh, performance hit. Otherwise, that has been pretty good. Uh, is our job going to involve a lot of travel, or is this just training at HQ kind of thing? Uh, it's just training, yeah. Just training for a couple weeks. Uh, you hop on the bandwagon and replay Fallout 4, but heavily modded. I've quite, uh, we've quite been enjoying the, the show. I feel like for a, um, a video game adaptation, it's, it's, it's fairly good compared to other stuff that's coming out. It's actually got two banner camps in that territory. There. Lots of people for us to go fight. Wood lice and rot. Nothing good. All right, two months of food left. And a message. Great roll for the ghoul, but that guy deserves a good roll. The ghoul is good. Keep hearing loud cats. Uh, you're hearing our, uh, my, my dog barking. I think he's hearing stuff outside. Uh, raiders near. We've received reports of a band of raiders roaming the nearby lands. Should we track their steps? All right, here we go. One year countdown begins. Track their movement. So we need to get out to the iron deposit, start mining that. So we can start making some, some gear. Let's get our mining pits out. Pop that down. And build a road out there. This one, I may just do a straight line for expediency. Come one, come all. Feast your eyes on Good our fine selection. Alright. Meat so leather, leather practically melts in your. Uh, does the water go out that way? Can you start putting burgages out that way too? Let's see. Oh, it's harder to see the water. So. Um, I mean, it, there's a line here. We probably could put some burgages out here and just put a well there. I'm not sure if there's like a radius on the well. Or if you really just need one. I'm not really saying anything. Why is drinking water to the burgage plots enables firefighting? Well, it's probably important for firefighting. Need more so than drinking. Why do I, have to carry this alone? I think I'm still planning to build law overall. Yeah, we could do some more burgage plots up in here. That's seven timber. We need one Come there. On. And we'll have another pit here to do. Yeah, sure, let's do... 
let me double check the uh all right this is where that high fertility area is I should probably move this road around Smoke. there eventually. Are you smoking yet? Okay, buddy. Need tobacco, tobacco farms. We could do some houses down here. It is up on a hill. Uh, any landscape features you can get against? I mean, this would probably actually be a, a good spot for, <laughs> for the banner. Why don't we put it down there? This would be a good defensive point, eh? I've already plopped the manor down, actually, um, over here. Because this is also on a, a little bit of a hill. I didn't realize that was so much larger of a hill back there. I think I can always demolish this and put it somewhere else there. Maybe once we deplete this iron deposit, we move the manor up here. You think it's better? You were really close to the other areas? For now, this will work here. That's true, the big, the big hill is by two near borders. Enemies coming off screen. Right, we'll keep where it is then. Let's put a couple Burgage plots up here. Come along, lad. Oh, but hold on. I did just say this was kind of fertile. So it ends right there. And this is right about it. Come along, lad. Need enough space for it there. Let's put that down so it's down. Right up on the road. Are there indicators of radius for things like the hunting lodge? No, I don't think so. Unless you use the limit work area. And it's like this. So that goes for the hunting lot, lodge, um, the gatherer hut, the uh, logging camp. Generally, though, I just keep like. Since there's only like one resource for animals and one resource for berries, I'm not sure if there's a point to like dedicating the forestry one though, for sure, because we use like the forestry one to actually clear out trees around the manor, so that was helpful. Otherwise, they're just kind of slowly clearing trees all around. Like, I don't know if there's actually animals elsewhere, Rancid, or if they're only on these spots. I haven't, like, scoured the forest, but I feel like they're only in that one spot. Uh, they will migrate though. Every couple of years they seem to migrate. Yeah, let's let's try and fit a burgage plot over here. We can put one right beside.
from there. We'll put one on this side. Gary, Sage, welcome on, guys. Doing well? How are you doing, man? All right, that is built. Let's get some mining. We have 352 days. Let's put two people in the mine. Oh, uh, hold on. I'm going to need a bloomery out here as well. Right beside it. Yeah, we need more people. Noob's looking to move in. You ready to go to work in the mine, Noob? In the pit? We need more people swinging pickaxes in the pit. There we go, Noob showed up. <laughs> Oh, there we go. We've, we've made some money. That's what we need. 60. We needed 60, I think. Yeah, 69. Appreciate the hydrate there, Neil. So, future taverns going here. So, let's put. A brewery here. Burgers plot level too low. Oh, so maybe we do need a. Oh, no, this is a level one. Okay, so let's upgrade this. Oh, maybe we did need a level three. So brewery will go there. Uh, we're doing vegetable gardens back here. Those two. Hopefully that actually produces a fair bit of food back here. And yeah, let's expand that living space too. It's been a while since that episode of PZ dropped. I know mostly because of the move. I was curious when the next will be. So I'm about a third of the way for editing the next episode. So I'll try and get it out as soon as I can. The pit of despair, Kevin. Or the pit of opportunity. Depends on how you look at it. Narumi, welcome on in. Eat some foods. Oh, other ruler army is spotted. They're probably going to go to hunt bandits, I'm guessing. Yeah. Have they already fought them? Not our concern right now. Groovy. Memento and Poutine. Welcome back. Appreciate the sub with Prime. How are you doing? That last episode had me yelling at my screen. In a good way or a bad way, Sage? <laughs> uh, we've mostly settled back into the old apartments, uh, Ricardo. We've still got a few boxes to unpack. So we've been... Um, our son just bought a couple pieces of uh, furniture, like some shelves and um, dressers we're just waiting on.
should be able to get the rest unpacked. Groovy. I see them plowing, but I don't Groovy. actually see a field. It is I. Matthew, welcome back. Another Arisa. 23 months, one month away from his second birthday. Lord, one month away from their their first birthday. Matthew, about to double that. Something for the gameplay, staying for the fleet music. I appreciate you. And so does the, uh, the flutist. One of us, one of us, one of us. Alright, we don't need anyone working in the click pit right now. British pots are almost done. About 18 iron ore. We need to get this thing built. Prioritize that. Some birthday buddies, absolutely. Running out of food, oh god. We're gonna starve. Okay. Uh, foraging hut. Let me bury each other. 64. Nope. Should have lots of planks. Take you off the saw pits. Lots of firewood. What else can we take off? Uh, we don't need anyone working in the stone pit. No one's working there. Uh, hunting limits. When population of herd drops to this number, workers will stop hunting. That's quite fun. Top down kingdom come deliverance? It's like Banished and some uh, Total War-esque battles, Total War Light. The, uh, I was saying at the start of the stream, the developer posted a, a very good transparent message on uh, Steam for the er prior to the Early Access launch, so everyone is fully aware of what they're going to get with the game. What it is and what it isn't. So if you're interested, you should definitely go check that out. Uh, can you end management mode and actually fight in battles as your character? Unfortunately not, Kevin. Uh, part of the update that the dev dropped was that he wanted to make it clear that this mode the visit mode so fresh, fresh. is more Sandy just like an aesthetic leather, leather. Perfect for little perk that you won't actually have any uh, first person gameplay in the game. So not not to expect that. Not to hold your, your hopes out for that. Fresh meat. But it, it is it is a cool feature to just walk around the village. It would be cool if they had that, Matthew. Yeah, some first play, first uh, person combat. Oh, this guy looks like he's sick. But yeah, it doesn't doesn't sound like it's in the uh, in the uh, the plans. The shoes are lethal weapons themselves, though. Yes. Well, perhaps it was simply a bad batch. Uh, these things do happen. I'm not sure if this apiary is worth it. You don't seem to be getting a lot of honey. Also, not getting a lot of meat anymore from the animals. We've almost hunted that out.
Uh, do resources respawn? They do. So the animals breed for the wild animal locations, and the berries regrow every year. And then trees can regrow as well if you have like a forester or forestry management. But things like uh, your mining pits uh, and stone resources are finite amounts. There is a perk that you can unlock for rich deposits of, I think it's just rich deposits of iron. Uh, or I guess it's the mining pit in general, so it could be for clay as well. If you unlock the deep mine, which is up in here, deep mining, enables the building to extract resources indefinitely if placed over a rich deposit. Meets back off the menu, unfortunately. We're up to three months of food now. Someone working there. Somebody's Need to start making iron. We don't have a lot of iron in this uh, deposit here, so our plan, our long term plan, is to conquer any one of these three locations preferably this one that's got a rich deposit of iron and a rich deposit of stone but all three of these have rich deposits of iron that's a pretty big difference between these two this one's got like twice as much almost So ideally, we'll go for this one. Um, now, the enemy has been camping in this area for a little while, so might try and go for that. Uh, we need to get a thousand influence to claim this ourselves. Uh, we currently have 250 influence. We'll get more influence for uh, fighting in battles, defeating bandits, camps. Uh, we will have bandits coming to us in 300 days, so we'll get a little bit of influence for hopefully beating them. I'm hoping these two vegetable gardens start producing a lot of food for us. I'm upgrade those. Yeah. And we got some more money too, so we might do some more improvements. Maybe do some chicken coops. Uh, there's army spotted. Be down there. They're just marching around. chicken coop there. Let's do another chicken coop here. Uh, once we get four more silver. Gotta hire some dwarves for that mine. Dig, dig. Are you a vassal for a kingdom? So we're our own um well, I guess we're a, a lord. I don't know. It's said that our opponent is a, a baron. They haven't like mentioned about like any like kings or queens. You built spike wall spike log walls for defense. So we have our manor here. Which eventually becomes your castle, I guess. And you can build walls and gates from here. So that's what they would look like. It's more like a picket fence. I'm assuming 
as things develop with the game, you'll be able to like upgrade yeah. like uh, stone walls and that kind of thing. <laughs> but for right now, it's just uh, those wooden walls. Do I pay taxes to anyone? Uh, there, I haven't seen it yet, but there is an annual royal tax up here. I haven't seen this populate with anything. And then there's King's Favor. So I guess there will be a king who's King's Favor. Hey, JJ. But I haven't seen any anything happen with these two at this stage of the game. This stage of development. Alright, settlement level increased. We're now a large village. Next goal, we'll be making it to a small town. And we're gonna need one more Burgage plot at level two, and then three level threes. And we're gonna unlock advanced armor making. We want to do a lot of battles today. I think we're going to do advanced armor making. It'd be nice to unlock this deep mining as well. We'll see. We'll see what we're able to do. Okay. Speaking of, we're going to need an armorer and a blacksmith. So there is an option to build a smithy. That's just for tools, though. So I think we have to upgrade one of these plots. So we do have two plots uh, up here that are somewhat close to the mine and the bloomery. So let's upgrade these but our needs are not met so we're going to need a market over here so maybe the blacksmith will be in town got this one available it's the logging camp Allen's a vegetable farm And this one we've got. That's chickens. Okay, so let's do... Let's do a blacksmith here. And we'll do an armorer across the road. Then we're going to also need a bowery to get some archers. Which means we're going to need some more burgage plots. Since we have the market down here, let's put our other British pots here because it'll be faster to upgrade. Right, let's do that. We needed a bowery and we also wanted a cobbler too. On there. I have not tried out the new RimWorld DLC, no. Uh, Slender and I watched the trailer, though, on Steam uh, the other day. Looks very interesting. I need, I need people to work. Um, how many logs do we have? Um,
I take off work right there. Let's take our trader off. So still no one. We are short people somehow. There's people moving up here. There's no one working in the mine either. Where do these people go? Right, 23 iron slabs to this guy off. Anyway. Yeah, there we go. Right, building the blacksmith. Okay. So this guy will start making some weapons. We'll start off with sidearms. That's fine. And the armor is ready as well. We'll start making some mail armor. Two iron slabs. Let's actually start with helmets. One iron slab. I need people to work at every small business. <laughs> In game, yes. Flog someone. I wonder if you guys have. Someone want to try the whip and stuff there? Not sure if it works right now or not. Alright, we'll start seeing weapons show up here. Yeah, I think appreciate the hydrate. There we go. Our first helmet. Oh, they're starting to chop trees back in there now. I'd rather them not chop down the uh, trees around the berries. That might get rid of the berries. Let's set this here, this area. I feel like we should be able to see stuff growing here, but we can't. I don't know if it's glitching out because it's such a large area. We are not getting any meat from the animals. It's not noticeable. Might need to do one of these on our next point. And food related. Got five months of food. Eight, oh, we're down to eight months of fuel. We all know what that means, huh? These plots are dead. Upgrade these. Alright, let's upgrade them right away. With the 260 days. So we'll want a, uh, a bowery and a joinery, I think it's. Make the shields. Six sidearms, nine helmets. I think the minimum for creating a militia is five people. This is where we would create our militia from. We have five retinue, 
five retainers from our manor. So these guys we can actually hire more men at arms if we have the money in our treasury, which we don't right now. We have 14 silver in our treasury. We can hire more up to 12. And then there is a tower we can build in our manor. The garrison tower, which would double our retinue size by 12. Or two, another 12. And it's limited to one per region. So we can have, we have five right now. We can have up to 12 right now. Then if we build that building, we get another 12. So we can have up to 24 of these, these like heavy infantry. Um, we go through and we can customize each one to some extent. Put them all. Eventually, we're gonna have them all in chainmail. So let's put them all in chainmail. To maintain our aesthetic. And then we are gonna have helmets. So let's do let's do these ones. We will do some variety. We'll alternate them. Um, and then our weapons. So they are going to have their own. Um, or no, our other. Militia will arm themselves with the weapons that we're crafting. These guys have their own. Let's go swordsman. Big, big cleaver. So our coat of arms is blue and yellow. So shield. So blue and yellow. This one. Back. Not sure what that one is. So there's only two paint options on this one. Oh, we can actually change the style too. This one? No. Take a this. And clothing. I'll go blue and yellow as well.
Tá bom, bom. So hopefully there's more customization down the road. It's kind of cool that you can do something though. And then, okay, so this is where we buy the minute arms. Uh, there's an option here for recruit ministrales or minister alleys, ministeriales, however you say that. Uh, promote one of your citizens to your retinue, uh, locked in early access. So these ones we're buying from outside of our, our village, and this would be promoting from within. Uh, nothing that we can switch here. They have like a little backstory to them. There's a bandit once and robbed travelers. Eats more than anyone else. Often leaves nothing for his comrades. So I'm wondering if these will tie into maybe something like uh, War Tales. Um, positive and negative traits. There's a relic around his neck. Or maybe it's just a little bit of extra flavor. And he performed a miracle once. Uh, and then if we have money, we have silver in our treasury, we can also upgrade their armor. Uh, or if we have the armor locally, being produced locally, we can just buy from our village at a reduced cost. Now it looks like we've got experience that we can gain and some work in progress here for unlocking traits, I guess. Different skills. So it looks pretty promising. And then to create new units to form our militia, we can add footmen, militia footmen, spearmen, full arms, uh, and archers. That's how many recruits we have available. And then what we have for weapons and. Um, shields available so we're gonna wait until we get a little bit more stockpiled and then we'll start forming our militia and over here is where we would hire mercenaries again if we had the money for it and this is what we would pay each month for their service so pretty pricey I'll stay around as long as you pay him or until you dismiss him. Yeah, one of these will be the Bowery, uh, one will be the Joiner. We get shield production and archers, or bows for archers. And I, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of different mercenary groups right now. I keep seeing the same. Five or six names show up for the groups and then when you hire them they'll arrive in a particular region then it takes time for them to like make their way over to you depending on how, how far away they are Up production here pretty soon. Hopefully, 
slow. Need more iron. Okay. Let's do the joiner's workshop for creating wooden parts and shields. Burgage plots, I guess. Jungle. Welcome back. Two times in one week, truly, we are blessed. How's it going? It's going well. Come on, Come on. Trying to progress a little bit faster this time than we did on the weekend. Okay, that works there. things go on your side. Let's do one more plot here. That could be another farm there. moved into these. It's because we don't have any of this stuff. We put a market out here. I think that would help. Uh, let's do a break. Work area is empty. Where else? Oh no, you had a water pipe break. I had to have a plumber come fix it. Thankfully, it was a drain pipe, so there wasn't a lot of water that leaked. Oh my god. Water leaks are the worst. I'm glad it wasn't too serious, though. See, this one is, we've depleted that berry deposit for the year. We can take them off. Let's put one back on the bloomery. Let's start building market stalls here. Yeah, okay. Good stall. Tracks people down here. Careful with that beam there. 
Uh, new microphone sounds a bit different. That's what uh, Ransom was saying earlier as well. I don't. Watch your head, then. Everything should be the same. I'm not sure what changed. I think it's, I think it's OBS just being weird. Every once in a while, settings just seem to change in OBS. Yeah, it's up for a. You haven't had a ban in a while, eh? It's up for a gold sledgehammer. When was the last time we had a band? Oh, yeah. uh, progression this go around is insane compared to last time. I told you, Kip, though. I'm learning. <laughs> Hard to describe the change, but I hear it. That's what I was saying. It sounds kind of like. Um, like a like echo from like an empty room. We got a lot of food going into this coming winter. Eight side arms, fourteen helmets. We're halfway there. I I am not producing stuff fast enough here. One more family to then. Let's get rid of one. We've got zero iron ore. So let's two people working it. Yeah, we're gonna be living off of berries this winter. Add some more living space. We need the tavern up before we can get to level three stuff. A little bit more desirable out here. Hopefully, some peasants move in. We should do a lot of market out here as well. It's, I mean, it's not that far from this market, but they would benefit from their own. Spot over here. One here. Go for four. Zweyu is being claimed. We go to our map. Where is that? This one? Yeah. So the uh, our opponent is claiming this area here. So when this happens, we have the option to resolve a claim on the battlefield. Uh, we, we can't do that right now because we don't have an army. Uh, but that is an option. They also have an option for using King's Favor 
favor coming soon, or we can negotiate also coming soon. The only other way we can get territory is by naming unoccupied territory with influence. Now we can also claim an opponent's territory for twice as much influence. It's 2,000 to claim occupied territory, 1,000 to claim unoccupied territory. This game looks a bit like Banished, but with combat it looks like. It does have a good Banish vibe for sure. The town building part, yeah. We're going to try and get into battles today. We're at the end of our second year. We have our first battle coming up in 158 days. Don't be shy, good sir. Got 10 sidearms now. Oh, uh, this is probably them. Uh, didn't we? Did we upgrade these? Okay, we got the joiner workshop. Alright, so we're making shields. And what were, why weren't we able to upgrade this one? I, do, I thought I did the Bowery 2. Maybe it was just that one. Yeah, okay, let's do the Bowery here. Some bows made. Which means we're going to need planks, which means we're going to need our saw pit up and running again. We have a 54 right now, so... Got a guy waiting to work at the bloom rate. Just need more iron. Is this done? Uh, here. Watch your shot. I'll just start making bows. shields yet. This takes planks. We have people living here, don't we? We don't have anyone living here. Okay, that's a problem. That's a problem. Okay. Uh, let's stop are taxing. We need to increase our morale, our approval, get people moving in. The ruler's army, yes, yes, yes. Expand this market over here too. More work, guys. I think. I think we'll we'll do okay in the battle. So I think there's gonna be 18 barbarians. So we have our our five retinue. Then we'll have we have ten sidearms right now for ten foot soldiers. But I would like more. 
we got 31 iron. Okay, two iron slabs. Okay. It's just slow going. Maybe I should put one more person in there. Any people moving in here? I did see an option to reassign people. Maybe that was just for jobs, not reassign houses. I don't know. Expand living space while we're waiting for people. sidearm made. Uh, let's switch over from helmets. Uh, maybe let's turn helmets off right there. Let's pause that. It's not making the weapons. We got four months to go. We can hire up to 46. And I think each one is 30, I think the max size is 36 for a group. There we go. Moved in. Ah. Farm. Not the one I wanted you to move into. Family joins. Oh, that's a new family. Okay. Forge is full of mining pits. All right, fifty-three iron. Okay, so let's take you guys off. Where to redistribute this labor? Got lots of planks. But we'll be making a lot of shields once people do move in there. So let's start making more again. And I don't know what else to do. What do we need to focus on? Labor wise, Barry's back. Trading, maybe. Someone in the church, maybe. I'll make it more appealing to be here. And are we getting low on firewood? Eight months. Install, install. Let me put another um we have another woodcutter out here. I can't wait for blueberry season here. I'm going to be eating blueberries by the bushel this summer.
100 days. Who died in my G fucking king of the zombies? Jenny Myth, welcome on in, appreciate the follow. Don't mind the zombies. That's 17 iron slabs, why are we not... I feel like we should be producing sidearms faster. These are blacksmith. Transporting. Probably because our supply is too far away. It would be better to have the uh, blue rate closer to ten. Just too far to walk. Oh, I know what we can do. We get some people working in the storehouse. Get them moving stuff around. Off there. I'll have to upgrade this soon too. I should have done this a while ago. Have someone working in the storehouse, especially since we have production so far away. We should have people always want to pick up goods, bring them back. Three months. Faster, faster. 76 days. 20 side arms. Okay. Go. Now, lots of room. 2,500 units. All that iron down here. We have no more raw iron. So let's just focus on getting stuff in. Is there an end goal or more of a sandbox kind of game? So our end goal, our victory condition is to conquer all the regions. So we got one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight regions. That's our victory condition. Um, there are three different game modes right now. Uh, this is the one we're playing, Conquer Everything. There's one where it's more uh, like survive the waves of attacks. Uh, it kind of sounds like it's a set amount of waves that you have to survive through. 
And then I think the other one is like build your town up to the highest level. Oh, clone install, fire install, one of those going up here. Okay, that, that's a good sign. That must mean that this place is developing. Still no one living here, but that's a decent market over here. Clothing stalls, firewood, clothing, firewood, food, food. Does no one want to live next to the mining pit? <laughs> Are you afraid you're going to... You're gonna be forced into the uh, the pit. Snow's pretty and all when it falls, but hell if it ain't just piss and mud after ten minutes. Our approval rating is fairly high. Low population growth, neutral, still neutral approval though at seventy percent. Well, let's... I've never had it take so long for people to move into these plots. So I'm going to save this. Reload it. I feel like we've got everything they need. To want to move in. I feel like 70% approval shouldn't be neutral. It should be a, a higher. And still neutral approval. And find storage storehouse for excess weapon storage. Just upgrade this. There's plenty of room here. Uh, what are your thoughts so far on the game? I've been enjoying it. Uh, when the demo first came out back in October of 22, I had a lot of fun playing it for that limited amount of time. So I was, I've been eagerly waiting for this to come out, and then I was very, uh, very excited to see the um, Steam key in my inbox earlier this week, or uh, late last week. I I'm excited to get back in and play some more of it. Yeah, so this enemy, our enemy's been going around clearing bandit camps. So he's been accumulating favor. Or what's it called? Not favor. Um, influence. Probably also getting quite a bit of money. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get more weapons here. So let's form our militia with our footmen. This will be our sidearm. This one here. So 36. Uh, they're going to go around and pick up what sidearms they can and what uh, shields they can. I mean, we don't have any shields yet, unfortunately. Still have 28 iron slabs. Let's go to our armorer. Maybe we can squeeze out a few chain mail. There we go. We got the iron slabs down here now. Nice. I might speed things up a bit. So you can see everything's been picked up now. We have zero sidearms in our our storehouses. So if we go to some of these houses, you'll see this household has one militia member, only one sword. So under our armaments, 
to pick and choose some other plots. We got two, well, three militia members here, I guess. Four in this house. So as soon as you um, recruit them into the militia, they just store their weapons in their house when they're not um, on duty. So what you'll see up here is like our, uh, our surplus. So you can toggle this here to see your total. Someone finally moved in over here. Um, that one. 55 days left. We could turn that in one into a uh, a joiner. Actually get some shields. And scrap this one over here. Since no one's living there still. Let's try and that. If I apply it still. Fifty-five days. Planks. Oh, now since everything is moved out, let's take some people off our warehouse. So we have more spare families to construct a bit faster. Small shields, large shields. We need small shields. One plank each. Let's see if we can get some shields made. Uh, and the family joined the joiner shop. Yes. Okay. And we might mine the rest of this. Not building anything right now, so use most of our labor. We got Berry, seven male armor. And fit for a king. But oh, these guys do wear male armor. Looks like we should equip this stuff. You get around to us. Snow's pretty and all when it falls. 44 days. Oh, there's one shield. Male armor's not going anywhere. Worried there, we still got a month. Someone grabbed the shield. They're not grabbing the male armor though. Hmm. All just sitting in here? Somewhere. No, they're all in here. What's the hell is sorry? Uh... 
the incredible spies or scouts you have there, accurately knowing when an attack is coming months in advance. So these uh, notifications. I'm not sure how, yeah, how they're seeing these guys. And they've moved on from this location, but. Yes, it is really good scouts for spies. We'll get those notifications about uh, another ruler's army being sighted all the time. Then we'll also see um, when the bandit camps pop up. Yeah, these ones. Yeah, it looks like these guys should wear the... Uh... What are they missing? It says we have four of them. Four of 36. Days. Let's... Because most of them are working. Take a rallying spot. A uh, minimum of five equipped recruits is required. We should have enough recruits and appropriate weapons in the region. We should have appropriate weapons. Taking a long time to equip themselves. Go five. Maybe as soon as you start producing weapons, you should start creating your militia right away. Six. Six shields out. So we have 36 or 36 of the sidearms, 34 helmets. Maybe that's not chainmail. That symbol, that must be, um, must be something else. Oh, it must be, um, where's our weaver? of clothes and cloaks and canvases. Well, definitely the gambeson, that's that symbol. That one on the right though doesn't look like clothes, it looks more like chain mail. Or mail armor. Or maybe you need the gambeson and the mail armor? That's what it is. Hey, totes. Fun fact 1402. Alexander the Great wouldn't even get out of bed without Nomus's fortune of the future. <laughs> How's it going, man? Good to see you. 12 days. Our militia is lacking. This is going to be a close battle. Nine. We're going to be outnumbered. Totes and the barbarians are at the door. Four days. Three days. Two. One. <laughs> Almost timed perfectly. <laughs> okay. The enemy has been spotted. Oh shit, 36. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, chat. Alright, they're a long ways away. We still got time. <laughs> oh bad. Is it? 
Oh, is it? It's only going up as fast as our shields are going up. So does that mean it's just 11 fully equipped infantry? Alright, well, it's a waiting game now. Raiders are near. Yes, yes, yes. Where are they? Still a long ways to come. We can track them. The bots are out in the forest tonight, guys. Offers of fame and fortune abound with Manor Lords. You'll look at these guys. Our opponents. Yeah, it looks like they mean business. the cost to buy one? 50. Two and one eight, they can smell the fresh streams. <laughs> There's new gamer blood in the waters. This is heavier than it looks. Well, it says 36 of 36 up in this little window. Maybe that does mean we have 36 people. Maybe this is just indicating how we fully equip them. The more shields we can make, the better it is. Periodically check on their progress. They're almost at our border. Okay, so let's let's pause it for a second here. Figure out where we want the battle to take place, because uh, there are benefits and drawbacks to where you fight. We want to we want to have the high ground. We'll get a bonus for fighting downhill. And we'll get a negative fighting uphill. Uh, we'll want to avoid the trees. We'll be a uh, negative for that. I mean, anywhere along here is probably going to be fine. And this opening here, or on the road, being settled on top of this hill is actually not bad. I think maybe even just on this hillside here. Right in there. We're going to need a corpse pit. So let's put corpse pits. Well, out by the where we assume the battlefield will be. Up to fifteen now. A little bit longer. And should go prepare now. Go. Buddy, let's go. Alright, 
save the energy. Don't run. This is our red name. Where in the colors? And the gear we chose for them. Those the bandits. We got 16. 16. Well, so I guess it is only fully equipped people. So we are outnumbered. But we have the high ground. We have some better equipped folks. We have one more shield made too. Um, Alright, 17 now. Or does it reset them? Resets their position. Can do that. Still got time. Alright, so let's uh. Set these guys up. Run out. They're behind schedule. Alright, so I think we'll put our footman up front. Don't have enough for any mercenaries. Probably be too far away to help out anyway. Alright, so you can see our effectiveness with our footmen 117%. We're soaking wet, so that's minus 10. But we are in our home region, plus 90. Uh, cohesion, 17%. Um, once we start fighting going downhill, we should get a bonus for that as well. And if we go over to these guys, so their effectiveness 87%, climbing minus 8%, fatigue. Down to 15. Fourteen. Oh god. <laughs> it's not looking good. up. Defense is doubled. Stand your ground. It's 
Stand our ground as well. Double our defense. Oh man, we're down to five on this one. I should have started with the uh, standard round. Oh no, <laughs> we're dropping. Our retinue is holding out though. We've only lost one of them. Slowly cutting them down. Oh! Did we do it? Or did they break us? <laughs> oh no, they, they knocked out our... They, they killed all our, our footmen. Down to three. Oh! <laughs> it's down to the last guys. 13 versus three. Oh no, our last guy! <laughs> no! It took us too long to get our, uh, our, um, joiner, our shield maker up. Come to loot and pillage the town. Well, 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 we got three, three people rehired. Oh boy, the screams. <laughs> oh no. Here come the, the barbarians. Uh, Emmy, you didn't spot it. Oh, yes. All right. I wonder if we didn't have the shields, if we'd be able to have more people off the hop. Still need five to actually rally them. Oh, they're giving up? They're not going to pillage us? All right, that that could have been worse. That wasn't ideal. But at least they didn't pillage our town. This is heavier than it looks. Oh no! All right, no, they're they're moving away. Damn! Last time we were able to fend them off. Not this time though. Out of 36, we got we took care of two thirds of them. Now we need to rebuild. So we got 29 planks. Maybe it's worthwhile doing a second joiner shop. And do one. Upgrade that. Upgrade those three. Yeah, that could have been a lot worse. I had one village where uh, I had expanded to another territory too too quickly. The barbarians came and they burned down my village. <laughs> All the men died. I'll have to repopulate myself. Oh shucks. Oh yeah, we got 40 bodies that need being buried. Where's the battlefield here? Brave men. Outnumbered. 
It sucks losing our retinue though. That's 50 silver a pop there. Person hired there, carry corpses. We'll come back. Another lesson learned. Alright, let's do another joiner out here. Increase our production of shields. And since we can't, it doesn't look like we can use our male armor yet, so let's turn that off. Go back to helmets. We must need to have to make the gamisons too. Army was wiped out, but our village lives on. Alright. Small shields. And need a lot of planks now. Anyone happen to move into these during the battle? Still no go. Oh! Someone just moved in there. Okay, let's start producing bows. Fly through these planks now. There, we can actually see these arms now. That reload. What else can we do? Make the gambesons. We're probably gonna need some fabric of some sort. Probably the yarn or linen. So we'll either need to start raising sheep or we could trade for them. Let's try making one. See what it requires. Arches would definitely have helped in that battle. Even just a few. First two more bows. All right, so let's get uh, that started. Right, we're already up to twenty. Our footmen. Smith here. Still producing that, yeah, okay. Probably out of iron slabs though, yep. Probably out of iron here. So this is gonna be uh kind of imperative that we try to take one of these 
territories with the rich deposit. We're out of iron. So how much iron ore do we have? 28 iron ore. It's probably like two iron ore per slab. It's maybe another 14 sidearms. Hey, Diesel. Uh, you here for the battle? You, you, you did just miss the battle. <laughs> we were un undermanned. We lost our first battle, but they uh, luckily didn't advance on the village and pillage it, so. We had more than enough uh, sidearms for the battle, but we were where we made our joiner shop for making the shields. It took forever for someone to move in there. So we missed out on a lot of time on making shields. And therefore, we were only able to have like half of the amount of people we probably should have had. Oh, we're going to try and rebuild. I'm going to have to start taxing them again. And maybe we should continue to build more homes out here. Start building into the forest. Maybe we can get one more in here still. We got our farm going to me. Burgage plot uh, causes a loss of approval. What is upset? The tavern supply, no clothing stall. Oh, are we out of leather? Lots of leather. I need. Okay. Let's get another person there. Up on our stall somewhere. Hopefully up there. Maybe too far away though.
There we go. We build it up again. Twenty-two iron ore left. We can always get more wood and more planks for archers. So what we might end up doing is just get a few troops of archers, maybe two troops of archers. We need to go bandit camp hunting to increase our our influence level. So we need at least a thousand to claim somewhere. So we'll need to go probably this one first. Closest one. Then we can go for this one. That might be enough after those two to press a claim on um I guess on this one. Moves long. Are very low. Timber's not bad, so let's. We have one person working there. Kind of need to keep him there. I'm not sure about the apiary, how much it's worth it. new plots out here. Extra rooms. Start upgrading these ones. What else could we possibly So once we get the cobbler, we'll start going through leather. I did say early on that we want to maybe sell shoes. Let's do a goat shed out here. Get a couple goat sheds over here. Uh, this one may be a vegetable garden. Interesting to see exactly how much food we get from these farms, these gardens. Yeah, no fuel, no food. A small market there. I put down a marketplace here, but no one's to have stalls yet. We need more people working for more vendors to show up. Let's do vegetables here. slow is being claimed okay so this would be our opportunity to contest the claim but then we'd have to fight this guy it's probably got a decent sized army these two groups here 36 and 36 72 dang
I got 53. No written. Dang. Okay. Well, the only reason we chose this one is because it had the uh, rich deposit on stone as well. We can survive without the stone. This is the one we go for then. Hmm. Yeah, let's change our plan. We'll go for the walled brand. Putting us in. Uh, what we hold on? All oh, that bandit camp's gone. Cleared that one. Even though he's claiming this, I might. I wonder if I can still send someone over there to hear that camp. Uh, A A D H P K, welcome on in. Is it early access yet? On the 26th it will be. Alright, let's um let's rally this group. I'm gonna go band hunting. We need to get some influence. Hopefully this doesn't cause issues going into this area that's being claimed. Oh, bro. Save your energy. Uh, same version, like 26? I, as far as I know, it's going to be the same version that's uh, that we're playing currently right now. far as I know. All those shields we got now. Yeah, we are out of iron ore. Now. So what we got is what we got now for footmen. Pretty much. Maybe I'll get a couple more, but This is now their territory. We're in enemy territory now. Okay. I don't know where he is. Rather not fight them in the woods if we can aggro them by maybe going up here? Have them come out of the woods? That would be preferable. <laughs> Tourist agrees? Yes, okay. But it does look like they have an aggro range of uh, a decent amount. <laughs> I know I'm just so large. It's so back here. It's pretty flat ground here. Maybe a little bit higher back here. So let's set our archers up here. I have our infantry set up there. Hey, Alter, working, working. As long as the VPN lasts. Good to hear. Hope you're doing well. To go into battle again. And both battles have been in the rain. Not helping us. Let's make sure the uh, other guy's not coming on us. Anymore. 
so I'm like, well. All right, start shooting. Stand our ground. Learn our lesson from last time. Let's spread this a little longer. Oh, easy. Easy peasy. That was a fast one. Okay. All done. Take their camp. So oh, there we go. We went from 250 to 570, so 220 or 320 influence for that quick battle. Searching through the enemy belongings, you find a stash of goods. They can be sent to your people who surely need them. It was your right to keep it. What do you guys think? We spread the wealth, or we take it back to the manor. If we take it back to the manor, we can start hiring more uh, retinue again. So essentially, if we take it for ourselves, it goes into our treasury. Uh, if we give it to the town, it goes into the region wealth. So the region wealth is what we use for uh, buying things at the trade post and doing the uh, improvements to the burgages. And then our uh, treasury is what we use to buy mercenaries and buy retinues. Send? Send to the town. People overpower. Guys. <laughs> All right. Well, I see two votes for send. All right. Regional wealth gained 165. We'll make do with our little militia here. Okay. Where is it expanded? Are there any more bandit camps? Way out there. Are there actually bandits out there? Just an abandoned camp. Just an abandoned camp, so there's more money to be had out there. Start marching. Advance. Way across the map. About as far as you can go across the map. I'll let them do that. Over the, uh, the coming few months. Meanwhile, back in Turnip Tin. We're still trying to surpass a hundred people. There's our regional wealth. We have 487 now. Let's see what we can upgrade. We can do anything with the hunting camp. Some of these buildings we can upgrade. Like how we um, upgraded our our storage house before. Not our granary. Upgrade this. Forging hut can be upgraded to add a herb garden. Oh, we could buy a sheep. Let's start a sheep farm. Start making some uh, some yarn. Still kind of low on food too. 
get some chicken coops. Some Taylor. Oh yeah, we're gonna look at this. So Gambsons take linen. Folks, I think we need Gambsons. We need linen. That would be for flax, right? So maybe start buying linen. And open a trade route for 24 silver. We guarantee linen comes in every month. Let's do that. Let's import. It's 14. Let's start off keeping a surplus of 10. See if we can start making some gambesons. Check in on these guys. Slowly making their way across. Oh, berries are back. Someone picking berries. So we are low on food. Oh, yeah, we're down at two months now. No fuel stall here. Market is so small. Um, Family moved in, join our shop. New family of settlers, join our shop. What is this? Join our shop. Nice. Yeah, we're completely out of iron now. We made one more sidearm. Completely out of place as well. And I have an excess of homes. People aren't moving in too because they're not desirable enough, I guess. We don't we can't fulfill everyone's needs at the market. How do we fix that? Try and just set up more market locations. This one definitely needs more food. Set up more, more gardens. Doesn't have anything. Chicken coop. It's got goats. Let's do chickens here. Living in them. So what's that? I know our choice. Oh, we're breaking a little bit so I can feed our keyboard. It sounds like that might be a, uh, a hungry bark. Yeah. 
you have linen now? No. I'm down to 233. Is that just because I did all those upgrades? Let's see what these guys say. Uh, oh, they're at the camp. Alright, I'm taking this one for the manor. We're gonna buy some more retinue. It is three retinue. First one went to the, the town. Second one goes to our pockets. I don't see any other bands. So let's go home. All right, 197. Let's uh, buy a few retinue. Start rebuilding our our forces again. Get them decked out. Pull arm. It's good. A hundred and eight now. Let's see our troops come in. Got a full squad of archers. We only have one more. I don't know, I guess this goes up 36, right? So we can get four more archers now. One more swordsman. Oh, yeah, we're living off vegetables now. We've moved on from berries to our, our passive gardens. Expand them for now. They make their way back to their homes and their jobs. And there we go. We should pick up the remainder of what we can. Actually, we will have a full. Oh no, we're, we're short on the swords, right? Our way towards the next group of uh, archers. As soon as we see the next notification of a bandit camp, we'll head out and hunt them down. Healers moved in. We do have linens, so they should start making the gambesons. We'll see if that means. We get to wear the male armor as well. Uh, since we can't make any more sidearms right now, we might as well pause our shield production. I'm sure we need wooden parts for. Let's pause this. Pause this. Oh, 
we are we are out of money. Is definitely staggering. Oh, well. Gets raining like this, and the wife will get out of bed. There's a head there. Well, see any gambesons. Let's take one of the guy off here. What are we saying short on fuel? Let's put another person on our woodcutter. Another stall. Yeah, both of those need fuel. Linen. Oh, there's our first Gamison. Okay. Two Gamisons there. One there. They're still not wearing the uh, chainmail, though. Oh, new family. You need fuel still, okay. Let's slow it. Two houses. More fuel. Big market space there, but no one's moving in. No marketplace there, no one's moving in. They all opening up shop over here. Looks like it. Building homes over here, then maybe. This is apparently the desirable neighborhood. Bring this in, move that there. Oh, fuck. Pause that. And I can't. Very close to us. Okay, let's go. We can't take these guys out because we don't have enough. We need at least five. Twenty-five more war boats. Here, let's get another group of archers. Yeah, that's as many as we can. Okay. Let's go. Just will get us some more money and some more influence. Lock running so they don't wear themselves out on this trek. Forward. 
might be close enough to trigger them. Sixteen. March, I leave. Yes, sire. Where you guys go? Fell behind. So uh, this group fall back a bit. Yes, sire. Men. Advance, sire. Forward. Oh, wrong one. Defensive stance, stand your ground. Balanced. So that. Over a little bit. Oh shit, where are you going? Camera just flew away. <laughs> okay, easily. Very good. Archers for the win. Send these guys up. The camp. This destroyed windmill. Granary. I wonder if we could rebuild these if we settle this area. Destroyed windmill and granary. Does that mean this is a good farming area? Fertile for rye. These guys back. Uh, where's our town? This way. March. How do you get access to this game when it's not due out for eight more days? So I uh, I woke up one morning late last week and. Check my emails. Try to check my I know this place email every once in a while. Then I saw that there was an email from the uh, publisher with a, a game key. So they've been handing out game keys to uh, content creators to uh, to stream and make videos in the lead up. Gonna take this money for ourselves as well. 159. That's three more. Three more retinue. We will have officially rebuilt our retinue forces. Ricardo, off till next time. Have a good one. Good to see you as always. Holding down the YouTube for it. Appreciate it.
So once our troops are back within our borders, we can dismiss them. And they'll just make their way back to town. But as long as they're outside the border, uh, you don't have the option to disband them. So once they're there, they're, they're good to find the way. Buy some more. I actually have seven now. Lots of full arms. One, one swordsman. Very good. Or is this bird just unhappy? The same one. Still fuel. Three people working the woodcutter. Maybe I need another woodcutter. Can I put one up here? Five on it. All these guys. Fuel, fuel, fuel. We have lots of fuel, just not getting to the right places. Um, let's see. Let's rethink this. I was going to put the tavern here. Um, we've got empty space here. Maybe we do a big market here and get rid of these other market locations. Just have like one central. Try that maybe. Let's try that. Let's get rid of this one. For this one. I'm not using it anyway. Be over here. Um, let's leave that one. Let's try this. I'll just move it over here now. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let's get rid of this one. We'll just have one central one here. Nice. 
damage by whether it's the other stocks out. Firewood, clothing, firewood, firewood. Should be lots of places for you guys to buy firewood. Just don't have enough people to hire. This is as big as our army can go right now. This population is slowly going up. White firewood? Yeah. I can get all these needs met, and our approval should climb, climb, climb. More people move in. Still on staff in that one. Two, two. Worker. We get rid of the worker can. There's no one living at the work. Use for storage. Again. You guys have any ideas what we should try? Our food saw it, okay. Come on. Always riding the edge of uh, starvation too. Right, spring. Let's get the forgers back out. I build that army. We've got more. No. Oh. This is the army we needed for that first battle. Oh, let's see. Can we see what he's got? Does he have his army yet right now? I need like one more bandit camp. We're at 890. If we get one more bandit camp, we'll get our thousand and then we can claim. Uh, which one were we gonna claim? 
on brand. Bigger army than pillage, what you need. Well, if we, yeah, so as soon as we can get one more banning camp, we can get this, we can get our iron deposit, we can start making more weapons. Yep, yep, yep. I'm just not sure how the uh, chain mail is supposed to work because we have 11 male armor and nobody's wearing it. I'm not sure why. I just need more variety of food. I'm just living off of the vegetables. I don't even give up on this apiary. I got three food stalls. Why do I have to carry this Let's focus on berries. Eat mushrooms and raid like a bacon. <laughs> What else can we do? What else can we do? We can upgrade our church. We can upgrade our church. We need stone, but we've depleted our stone reserves here as well. We need the roof tiles from clay. We have a clay pit we haven't touched yet. I mean, we could try the, the sheep urban. The farming is so intensive, though. Fields. Let's, let's set a sheep farm somewhere. We have it here. Because our weaver is over here, I think. Yeah, Taylor. Sheep farmer. That's true. Stock trading post. Put that over by our trading post. Those stocks are getting sipped. Pantry full. Farm done. Okay, so I trade first. We need at least two sheep. Should be sixty. means we need to sell lots of firewood. 
how much we have a month's worth let's sell some fire if we can Him. materials Keep like two fifty. Yeah, just hold that. Okay. But you can edit it. Okay. Pretty good. Sell that. Yeah, quite a bit of leather. Oh yeah, let's make that cobbler. Um, where are we going to put a cop? I don't think I have a space available. I'm going to change one of these. Uh, that's the joiner. Uh, we can get rid of one of these joiners. Can I change this though? I can't. Hmm. Change these ones though. Uh, do you mind if I print your channel logo for my nerd cave? I'm going to start a 3D printing and gaming channel this coming winter and I want to display a few channels. Oh, yeah, for sure. It would be an honor. Alright, so. Cobbler should be here. Tannery, if possible. Let's see. Let's, see. Let's build one more plot here. Let's see if someone. Yeah, that's awesome, Kevin. Once you uh, get your channel up and running, let me know. Groovy. I'll have to check that out. Hello, long time no see. That was love. Appreciate the resub. Welcome back, my friend. 17 months. How are you doing? Probably was maybe that big. Just need to get someone to move in there. Approaching your year and a half. We have three people now who are a month away from milestones. Oh, this is heavier than it looks. I'm not sure what's up with the mic today, Thomas Love. Something's up there. I didn't change any settings, but <laughs> everyone's everyone's noticing it though. I'm blaming it on OBS. Sounds like I'm in a bathroom. <laughs> We're playing from the bathroom today. So let me, let me try something here. Let me try disconnecting and reconnecting it. I don't know what's Test, test, test. Is that any different? That exactly the same. It's fixed. Oh, OBS. Normal as before. We're, we've left the bathroom. We're back into the uh, the living room. Sorry, it's only four hours of of bathroom audio. Much better. Okay, good. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> Apparently it's hard to solve double dipping. More efficient. Let's make this as desirable as possible. Lovely little home. Cobbler. A ready to go turnkey operation for the next villager that wants to move in. Got your hunting camp, your tannery right across the street. There we go, bandit camp. What do we need? Go. It's in wall brand as well. Away we go. You build uh, traps or siege weaponry? Not that I've seen. Or not that it's available right now. Don't, don't go for that. He sees the bandit camp too. He's, he's going for it. This has to be his whole army. 72, 108. Some footmen, some spearmen, some arch. Oh, these are actually, um, no, oh, these are just, um, uh, what do you call them? Can't think of the word now. Mercenaries. That's not even his main army. Let everyone form up. Everyone? So? See your energy until you need it. they coming from uh, they must be going for the band uh, now that the move is over is there going to be at least one weekly PC stream I think we could arrange that to be honest we'll probably have more streams this next couple weeks Thunder being on her work trip I'll be able to sneak in some more stream time. a quick one.
How was the move? Everything gone smoothly? No items lost or forgotten away? Very smooth. We only had to move um, from one building to another. So, it was all said and done in about three hours with the movers. Went very well. Oh, they didn't even make it to our, our ranks <laughs> before we broke their spirits. That's right. Get out of here. Cowards. Get our loot. Alright, so strategy. We end up doing another run at some point from scratch. We go for archers. Archers first. Oh, new family. Nice. Alright. Belongs to my treasury now. 96. Alright, so, now that we have a little bit more money, we progress to crossbow. I don't see any options in our... Those are... Fletcher. I don't see any options in here for crafting crossbows. Um, places like the joiner have like different options for what you can craft. The Fletcher just, it seems to just be bows. Um, maybe if we upgrade to level three, it unlocks something. Like in here, we're creating a militia. Just has the option for archer militia. I don't know if there's a way to upgrade these units. But speaking of upgrading, Kevin, we go to our retinue customization. So far, we've been recruiting men at arms for 50 silver each to uh, increase our total retinue size. Now that we have some extra money, we can actually upgrade the armor for these guys. Uh, which I think we will do. It's 18 silver to upgrade. Nine if we had the armor on hand, which we don't. We don't have any heavy armor. So if we wanted to produce heavy armor, we would need to unlock master armor making. But I don't know how we unlock that because it's not actually part of a branch, right? I guess to find out, we would need to get one more development point. Which means we need to level up three Burgage plots. Level three. Hold on one sec, guys.
Okay. Let's see. Oh, we were thinking about what it would take to upgrade. Level three. Well, we need a tavern, we need to upgrade the church. In the church, we needed the stone, so we st we do need to either trade for stone. There's still some stone here. We went through all the stone. Oh, I guess there's still some stone here, okay. Oh, it's rubble. Oh, the uh, bandits, um, they did destroy something. They destroyed our stone pit. Rebuild that. And our pantry is full. We moved the someone in another forager. Find storehouse for excess weapons. Boat and build this. Low priority. stone uh we can get our clay if we need to clay pits once winter comes i think and we can no longer forge we can take these four off reassign them to the stone pit and the uh, clay pit We'll work towards upgrading our church. Uh, we got... Ooh, we made some money there. Um, do we have sheep now? Zero sheep. He's spending this money on. I'm supposed to be spending it on sheep. Anything? We're still importing linen. Um, stop that. And our. Vegetable gardens are saving us. Moved into the cob. Shoes. So. would have enough uh, influence after that last battle, but we'll sit in at 890. Okay, the uh, berries are depleted. Let's get these out of there. Couple in there. Really about upgrading the burgages, isn't it? I mean, it, it seems like it's pretty important, but like we've got a few upgraded burgages that still don't have anyone living in them. Two specifically. Struggled to get our 
approval up over um for 70%. So not enough fuel at the marketplace that's hurting us. We have a good food variety now. It's raining like this and the wife want to get out of bed. It says her head hurts. I tell her maybe the screaming all the time wouldn't hurt. <laughs> all the comments these guys make. Um once we get our church upgraded, that'll help out. Clothing markets I pretty low. Once we get the cobbler up, that'll help too. I just reassign. There's already people living here. Maybe just reassign this as cobbler. Let's do that. Just can't reassign. These level two improvements. They're made. Okay, so we'll start making shoes. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so let's start selling shoes. Or no, actually, let's let's let those shoes make it to the market, and that might help us. Clothing stall. Two more clothing stalls. Let's see if this starts populating with shoots. Yeah, there we go. Deforestation killed berry bushes. Oh, that's what I was worried about early on. Any berry bushes left then, or is that all die? Berry bushes? We all know what that means, don't we? Probably sell some shields too. But we need to open a trade route to do these, and that's 68 silver. Like a forester over here. Plant. Season started. I have. A uh, new family started to move in. Okay, so we have the money. We just need one working in a livestock being post so we can buy our sheep. Six clay stone five stone okay now we just need the planks and the roof tiles for the roof tiles we're gonna need clay furnace We'll put by the clay pit. 
need... Oh yeah, we're good. Forty-five people. Why do I have to carry this alone? under construction. Quite finished. I think we need it right now. Oh, look at that. 76%. Oh, no. 68%. God damn it. <laughs> we, we were almost doing good there. So we'll need planks now. Hundred and eleven for bows. Let's start selling some bows as well. Or no, we can't because we need to open up the trade route. So let's open the trade route. Shields. And war bows. Port both of these. Bang. Well, two troops would be 72. So let's keep at least 72 on this. And... Shields. All the rest. Right. Have sheep yet? See any sheep? Oh, one of thirty six. Must mean we have a sheep. Have a sheep somewhere. I don't see him though. Ah! First apparently sees him though. It's herding instinct taking over. Ah! Yes. Still lacking firewood. I feel like we have a lot of firewood. Big farms have a lot of... Maybe we should put a... Granary over here. A right, new family moved into another cobbler shop. Things are picking back up again. 34 roof tiles. 
Take the planks now. Uh, let's pause production of boats for the time being. Where all our planks are going. Uh, can your archers lob shots over defensive walls? I have not had the opportunity to uh, fight a fortified location yet. I'm not sure if we're able to at this stage of the, the development. Because the opponent is actually off map. So they don't actually build any settlements in their regions right now. You can see like ours, you can you can see our, our settlement drawn out there. Being built in the roadways there. Scarring on the ground, I guess. Yeah, so I don't know if we are able to actually at this stage fight types of um encampments. We'll upgrade this. Add a herb garden. Herbs will uh help when people get sick. We don't actually get notices when people get sick, but occasionally you will see people walking around that look like they're sick. And if you hover over them, say they're sick. I think we saw one earlier. He was kind of clutching his stomach. There's our sheep. That's guy. I don't see anyone. Maybe no one's sick right now. All our homes have people living in them. Means it's time to expand again. Let's see. And in here, I guess, would be the next. Don't really have a, a need to push out that direction anymore. Continue direction, or maybe um, put in here, other side of the market. This area open for farming if we ever get to that stage. Sure, we will, but I'm a lot smaller with the farm fields, this go. Yeah, do you think we should keep making uh, more vegetable gardens? I mean, it's kind of keeping us alive right now. I was thinking some uh, improvements for other other shops. We do a big one back here. It's our new granary, isn't it? Granary.
There you go. Build. Bigger than right, this one. This one's huge. Yeah, this little area here is keeping our village alive right now. Seventy-three percent approval. Uh, nine planks, eight planks. We're so close. We need ten planks. What else is using planks? Oh, thirteen. There we go. Let's upgrade this. This. We have a little graveyard too. Is this for where our people died in that first battle? They all got buried in the churchyard? I didn't notice that before. Very deposit. Ring, I guess. I'm actually gonna our first forester's hut as well. And replant that area. It's like the church is restocking pine boxes. <laughs> yeah. No wars on the horizon. Are you eventually supposed to take over uh, the other manor lords? Yeah, so right now we're supposed to... Our victory condition is to conquer all these regions. Which, as you can see, we are quite behind on. <laughs> we're a little bit behind. Got some catch up to do. Oh, another bandit camp. Also fairly near us. Every time a bandit camp pops up, they show up as well. You got this one, we're so much closer. Go walk with them. Oops. Oops. Shit, which way they go? Hear them. Over this way.
I'm in the woods. Hold up, guys. <laughs> Where are they? Sounds super close. I think it always plops us on the nearest road. Oh, there they are. to be reckoned with. So here's our retinue guys. Footman. And our swarm of archers. Out of the trees. Although these guys probably won't even get near us. Our archer. I can control them while I'm in this spec zone. Probably not. Just run fast. You guys are like, what's the matter? Right. Very good. I think we're we might be ready for a big battle. What do you guys think? The bandits aren't up to our. Our caliber. Lala's victory. Damn. Although we didn't, we didn't get any more uh, influence. See, once we um, take over the bandit camp. Oh, we got the influence from the actual battle. Uh, belongs to my treasury. Yeah, no, we're not getting any more influence. We have to rely on our church upgrade. Need that thousand. Forward. 
More archers. Just missed that zombie Zika. How's it going? You will not find finer wares anywhere else. Act. Stuck at eight ninety. Or the way there. Uh, now that our population is swelled, though, oh, we only have seventy two of. Hmm. All burgage plots are occupied. Okay, so we need more burgage plots. Jerry24, welcome on in. Mm-hmm. Got some early access, yes. Lucky indeed. Very, very grateful for the opportunity. So much fun playing the demo a year and a half ago. First space left for the cobblers. How many shoes? Okay, 169 shoes. Let's start selling. We'll keep enough for the markets. Let's sell some. Pepper Root. Welcome on in, Raiders. Appreciate the raid. Crash Bandit, how's it going? Come on in. Is doing. It has been a minute, Trash Man. It has life been. Streaming very much recently. Groovy. I wish this would summon zombies into this game. It'd be fun to watch the chaos. Or even it just summoned uh, bandits would be fun. Bandit raids. Be super fun. Appreciate the uh, resub, Zika. 11 months. Another one just shy of a year today. Dragoon, welcome on in. Howdy, howdy. How you doing? So, uh, we are working our way towards... Groovy. Dragoon, appreciate the resub. 16 months. Away from a year and a half. We're working our way towards being able to uh, claim Wallbrand. We're 110 influence away. Or needed 1,000. I haven't gotten any influence out of the last um, two uh, bandit camp. Maybe it's because we're killing them with our archers? Maybe we need to do hand-to-hand -hand combat to get influence? Maybe we hold our archers back next time. Oh yeah, we're building more burgages. We're at the point where we can continue growing after that dry period. Uh, it's gotta be it's that one. Ricky, some.
I have to carry this alone? Uh, to say it would be chaos is lightly said. It would be like the normal Friday PZ death camp. <laughs> You'd be losing villagers left and right. Uh, trash man has been good, no complaints. And got pinned onto a bit of equipment up at work, so flew home early. I don't think any major damage is done. I know today at the appointment. And been, bro. Oh, I hope uh, everything turns out all right for you. That's uh, that's a bit scary. What kind of heavy machinery are you working with? Uh, things have been pretty good on my side. I'm uh, about three months in on a new job. And we just moved back into our old apartment after some flood damage late last year. Overall, things are good. It's good to be back streaming a bit more now. A, a little bit. It's there. Okay, so now we got this big area in there. We could do another farm in there. Or we do three. They won't have the extra living space. Doesn't want me putting that there. Uh, what is that? Oh, not enough logs. Congrats on the new job. Thank you. Uh, trash man is working on a drill rig, but nothing's broken. More just concerned if there's tendon or ligament damage. Uh, what's the new job? How's the family too? Uh, new job is uh, back working in the office uh, in accounting. So, you know, nothing crazy and exciting, but the, it's a good job. Great benefits. Um, really good um, work life balance. Got good vacation time and. Way more sick time than I've ever ever had at a job available. Extra days off. Um, every few weeks, so lifestyle wise it's um it's been a great uh, a great move. I think I'm for the night in a minute, Dragoon. Uh, we were trying out the new Dwarf Fortress Adventure Mode. It, uh, Pepper Root, you should check it out sometime. Absolutely, I've been interested in that. Some adventures with the uh, the Dwarf Colony. I'm assuming it was a lot of fun. Our, our church must have finished, hey? We're still working on it. We only have one free family working. We have a ton of money though. 854. We have no leather though. We've picked up all our leather. Okay, so I guess we're not going to be selling shoes in. Need more goat pens? Put goat pens in these ones over here. Those are built up eventually. Uh, we have our two sheep. So let's take them off. Let's take. What else can we take? Yeah, the work-life balance is uh, 
great. Even the benefits have uh, been already put them to good use. Getting some dentist appointments in and getting some things taken care of. My benefits were uh, available from day one, so it's like, okay, these appointments booked. Definitely something that went on the back burner during the, the last, the previous year and a half of uh, full-time YouTube and Twitch having a um, not having the uh, benefits, dental and kind of thing. Uh, it was awesome. We made a party of two, a dwarf and a brown recluse spider person. I shot things with a crossbow and uh, Dirge punched things six times every game turn. Bananas. Brought a... Uh, cabbie with him that would join battles and bite the ears off the enemies. It was hilarious. So is it it's turn-based um, combat? There we go, 250. Okay, there's our 1,000. One there's our new church. I'm looking. Look at that. Fancy tan. Uh, still rocking PZ or a big break from it nowadays? Uh, for the most part, a, uh, a break. I'm doing a, um, a YouTube series right now. It's a... Uh, has been on hiatus for the last month. Hoping to get the next episode out soon. Taking the time to explore some new games, though. I got sucked into uh, Elite Dangerous for a little while. Your Rick had uh, recommended it on the Discord. Now, Manor Lords. That looks a lot nicer than the, uh, the first level church. Go for a little walk around town. Do a little tour. Now this is our forager's hut. This is our forester that we just built. Don't have anyone employed there yet. Um, that that's our animal trading post. It's our main trading post. So the homes. Summer's coming soon. Hell to early and welcome on in. Good morning. I haven't played uh, CK3. Give that a crack. It'd be good to watch your brain tinker on that bad boy. Why do I have to carry this alone? So CK2 is one of the first games I bought on Steam when I s switched over to PC gaming. But I, I I tried playing it. I was like, oh my god. Is, it was too much for me at the time. So I would definitely be interested in trying to delve back into that world. Our, our main market. Uh, how do you play the game? Uh, it's supposed to release on the 24th of April. So 26th of April, I believe, is the release date for early access. I was uh, I was lucky to have the publisher email me with a pre-release 
Steam code. You'll not find finer wares anywhere else. Got food stalls. Vegetables. Get your daily dose of greens. Healthy and hearty. That woman sounds like a man. Keep your hearth warm and your heart. Don't be shy, cozy. good sirs and ladies. Don't be shy. Ooh, good very deep voice. Firewood. Oh. Vegetables. Get your daily dose of green. Building our new burgages. What are you doing? That vendor says he has wares. You can find nowhere else. Bargain. Bye, bye. Too much is in too many decisions, things to do. I just remember it being a little overwhelming. With like all the stuff to, uh, uh, so I remember looking at like the lineages and that stuff. And I was like, oh my God, this is. It wasn't exactly what I was expecting it to be. Oftentimes when I I pick up a game and I think it's gonna be one thing and then it turns out to be something else. I get kinda frazzled. This is our our major vegetable garden here. Sheep. I don't think we have anyone working at the sheep fold. We hire someone there. So we can start making yarn and put some clothing, some more different clothing made. One of our chicken coops. He's feeding them. The happening place. Oh, opinions, is it worth it? Uh, so I... I can say I've been enjoying it immensely. Figuring things out and... We had our first stream on the weekend. It took us about four years to get to the manor. Today we were able to do it by our first winter. So, always fun. Figuring out the mechanics of a new game. Uh, how about cow traps and bear traps or ditches with spikes at the road? Uh, nothing like that right now. The extent of like building stuff aside from like town buildings is through your manor. There's a castle planner here. So within this area, we can build walls and gates outer towers, we can put the garrison tower in, we can put a tax office in. Tax office is just cosmetic right now. Um, but yeah, we can do some building to like build up a castle and then I would assume later on in development you'd be able to like upgrade your castle. Um, maybe have more modules added in. I would think. anywhere else. All right, we're gonna do our, we're gonna push our claim. And uh, hold on one sec. Slender is back from her work day. She had a long work day today. It's off on training out of town. Might have time for battle. 
hop on a call with her. But we're gonna take over this. We're gonna claim Wallbrand. Playing with our thousand influence. And we may not even have a battle. He doesn't test us. But, uh, assuming he will. Let's send our troops out. And let's spend our money. I was hoping to uh, upgrade our retinue armor from home, our home markets, but we don't, we, we weren't able to get that far. So we're just going to upgrade our armor by importing the armor from outside. So we're going to upgrade all seven of these. We'll see how much money we have left and then we'll probably buy some more retinue. A little silly. Let's go with this one. A variety there. All right, two hundred and eight left. I. Another one. Graves. Them in our colors. Uh, let's give this one. 40. Great. Colors. And we might be able to do one more. There we go. Got ten now. Going here if need be. Gather at the church. They may not contest us, so it may not be necessary, but in case they do. Battle me. The taxes to fifty percent. <laughs> do it, do it. Well, we probably could turn our taxes on now that our favor uh, is going up a little bit. Maybe once we get to like eighty percent. Not enough cloth variety on the marketplace. Not enough fuel in the marketplace. Not enough food variety in the marketplace. Likewise, we are hurting right now. And fix those things. Okay, everyone. Off we go. Trash man, I got a bounce. Uh, take care and hopefully see you soon. Big love. Big love right back to you, man. Good luck with the appointment today. Hopefully everything turns out fine with the, the hand. Hoping for the best. It's great seeing you again. That'll be... Things are going very well. Yes, and the, the new old apartment uh, turned out very well our claim bar look like we're gonna be contested like they're just gonna let us have it there we go region claimed wild brand just like that so 
Now that we're here, we have tons of money. We got, a, well, not tons, but we have a thousand regional wealth. Should be able to set up a new settler's camp in this region. Oh no, this is regional wealth for our other region. Is it? Oh, maybe it takes a uh, treasury wealth. Must be treasury wealth, not regional. Hmm. Okay. No, why no fight? Yeah, they didn't contest our uh, our claim. Wall brand. So we got away with that one without having to battle for it. But um, I think we're going to have to end this one here, guys. I'm going to hop on a call with Slendy. Uh, but we have a new region to, uh, to build up tomorrow. I think we will stream again tomorrow. So you can see up here we're, at, we're in Wallbrand right now. Our tech tree has reset for this region. And switch back to uh, Imminruth. Population 157 right now. Overall is doing pretty good. We depleted uh, actually both the iron and stone deposits here. Uh, but luckily we have a very rich iron deposit to plunder. Nearly 3,000 iron in them hills. And that's going to get us a big army. That'll be uh, tomorrow's task, is building up a, a town here. And uh, increasing our army, and then we're going to start pushing to conquer uh, some of these other claimed territories. Uh, Office is calling, see you very soon. Battlebeat, was great to see you, and even though it was a short one. You're doing well. A uh, big thank you to everyone who came out tonight. Uh, to support the stream and hang out. Appreciate you all. Uh, we had resubs today from Dragoon hitting 16 months. Zika at 11 months. We had the raid from Pepper Root. Appreciate you, Pepper. Uh, Thomas Lav resubbed at 17 months. We had Jenny Myth, new follower. Matthew Skywalker resubbing at 23 months. Pimento and Poutine, first month. Sub with Prime today. Appreciate you, Pimento. Good seeing you again. Uh, C Boss the Beast with a follow. Uh, Lord Longlank, or Lordo Lank as he's now called. 11 months resubbed. Uh, counter Flats B. Appreciate the follow today. Lots of, lots of stuff going on today. Kevin, thanks for hanging out. As always, appreciate your support, buddy. Uh, Zeke, I'd be keen to see more of this. I've been hearing about it, and it looks good so far. Well then, uh, we'll definitely be back tomorrow. I'm having a lot of fun playing it as well. But I want to see how far uh, we can go, if we can actually conquer the map. It'd be pretty cool. We had a minor setback uh, earlier with that uh, first battle that we lost, but we have come back in force. We have a nice little army here. How many we got? 68, uh, set 100, no, 90, sorry, 90, 100, yeah, we got 100 folks. Army. We'll try and grow that some more. Now that we have another region, we can uh, set up another manor and get more retinue. We can go back to our old uh, manor and set up a garrison there, which will give us another 12 slots. So I am excited to have a big roaming army to uh, conquer the world. Uh, but yeah, that does it for today, guys. Uh, I'm going to find a quick stream on the Twitch side uh, to send you guys over to those that want to stick around and continue watching some content. And for the YouTube crowd and everyone want to watch some Project Zomboid content, I'm hoping to have episode four of the uh, the new series. Out soon. About a third of the way editing it. Which one's that? 
to some streams. I'll let it. All right, well, we'll just have a quiet send off then. All right, guys. Take care. Have a good one. Have a good night, morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time it is your part of the world. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for being a great community, as always. Until next time, I'll talk to you all later. See ya.